Nick Fox, you can't say that. Well, folks, this week on the podcast, we've got some very interesting people. They remind me of characters from Trailer Park Boys. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. It's going to be an interesting show. Here we go. Yo, what's up, Nick? Uh, yeah, great to be here, man. I appreciate all the love that you've shown. Me and my boy here today uh, had a great time out here in this forest, so this farmyard out here, man. Uh, shooting guns, riding four-wheelers. It's been a blast, brother. Hi, uh, my name's HV. I saw so many cats here today. It was super sick. He's a big cat fan. Anyways, uh, yeah, my name's Mike, man. We're uh, representing America Street Dream Studios up in here. Uh, shout out. Um, shout out to Nick Fox, man. Um, yeah, what you got for us, bud? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, bud. Brass tax here. All right. All right. Y'all want to go straight into the, uh, to doing the uh, free sale? Well, yeah, baby, we're here. Sway in the morning type <laughs> shit. Let's go. All right. We got Let's Mike go. Casey and HB in the afternoon. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to get a little off? beat going, and then I'll, uh, hey, I'll put it on them. Let's go, baby. Chill my life. All right. Hold Yo, on, Yo, the folks. steak is fucking delicious, by the way, Nick. Thank you for cooking for us, man. I brought you watermelon, though. Not just because you're black. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Okay, I can fuck All right, with I'm this. switching it over. All right, it's on y'all. I can fuck with this. You want me to pop off first? Nah, you pop off. All right. Uh. Okay. Mm. America Street Dream Studios. Mikey Fresh. HB The Dawn. Okay. I like the mindset the sofa beats put me in. It's reminiscent of the Boston streets that took me in. Lord knows that our city had its problems without the soul needed to solve them. Loyalty and strength was the only cover charge. Neighborhood was like a porno cause it made me hard. Nights a little longer, the years a little colder. What came out the other end was a soldier. Young chasing pussy cause I thought I was older. Started getting more lays than the chip on my shoulder. Yo. Fighting every chance that I got. Big bro cut me. 20s for cap. But yo, H be the dawn. Uh, and you know the song. Uh, yo, let me hand this off. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, go ahead, Bubba. Bitch, young H be a Mike Case. I'm type motherfucker jizz up on a bitch's face. I got all these motherfucking hoes jizz all up on the motherfucking place. All these hoes wanna fuck young H B. I already know I got that dirty ass dick and they still say it's tasty. I ain't took a shower since last Tuesday. I got two hoes wanna fuck me on January 1st and I'm still gonna finish on January 3rd. I got nasty motherfucking slutty ass bitches. I didn't even finish third grade. Motherfuckers say I'm autistic. I'm type motherfucker draw a picture say it's artistic. I got so much coochie dripping out my ears. Should wax it with motherfucking something you whack ears with bitch. Suck my dick whore. Uh, uh, okay, yo, yo, mm, okay, yo, yo. Sweatpants, Nike slides in the bucket hat. Fuck with 37, you can't fuck with that, yo. We talking Nick Fox, I don't give a fuck if you want a box, uh, yo. I'm smacking than me, but yo, yo. Nick said that I'm blacker than me, uh, and he's a white boy. Always talking about that racist shit when he. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that was the that was Mike Casey and HB in the afternoon. Word, could wow. not, I hated that beat. Yeah, really incredible. Whatever, we'll I mean, off if, if if we're being honest, that was incredible work. Oh, thank you, brother. Incredible work, I must say. All right. Thank yeah, you. man. So let's get into the questions, Bob. We ain't scared. Let's go. All right. So question number one, if you had, no, <laughs> no, 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 Mike Casey. Yes, sir. On an average week, how many alcoholic beverages do you think you have? I told you once, bro, I've been through Mushroom Mountain once or twice, but who's counting? I would say as much as it takes. That's hard. <laughs> what else you want me to say, Bob? As much as it takes. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. So, what? Uh, what, what, what's an average day for you guys? You want to start, Bob? Um, yeah, I actually wake up. Um, 
If I wake up feeling just funky as hell, I'll pop down on the ground, do like 20 push-ups, wait, walk outside immediately, smoke a cigarette as quickly as I can do that. Then I get in the shower, try to smell good in case, you know, something happens, I meet a girl or something, I don't want to smell bad. Um, then just a whole bunch of debauchery. Oh yeah, I go to work in between that too. He clocks in. Job. But yeah, you know, I'm just generally up to no good. You know, macking on hoes. Uh, I don't actually, uh, don't talk to many girls, but you know, just general stuff. Just looking at cat videos on TikTok. I like that a lot. I you know, it. just writing down raps, doing, just, you know, cool things that a 28 year old, you know, man would do normally. All right, all right. <laughs> what uh, what, what kind, what kind of style do you guys rap? You guys like to rap. What, what's your style? Uh, great <laughs> question, by the way. Um, I would like to throw out like my style right now is kind of like I'm looking for love, you know what I mean, in all the wrong places and stuff. But I'm at this point in my life. Uh, so if I could take this time a little bit to say a little bit about me, um, I like like hand in hand walks on the beach. I like to cuddle up with a good book. Um, I like words. I like say words like jubilant and stuff, you know? I love um, that. Like, you know, uh, I'd say like I'm just as comfortable in a dive bar as I am at a uppity cocktail party, but I also put my pants on one leg at a time just like everybody else. So, you know, catch me at Cracker Barrel as well. Okay. I'd say I'm like a Tupac if he was uh, white and from hand to hand and bad at rapping. Um uh, but I can see that. I also have a lot of Toby Keith in me. Um, I do the country thing a little bit. I've been known to get funky on some Bee Gees type shit. But uh, I've also been known to be really terrible at everything I do. So it He's all just being kinda, modest. You know, you yeah, take, I was going to say. You give and you take. I think, that, I think that the ideal job for you would be uh, a character on Trailer Park Boys. If it was still around. That, or I also always wanted to work at a movie theater. Uh, that would be my main goal. I start off, you I know I have to work from the bottom, I'll have to start off slinging tickets, that, but I figure I could be assistant manager at least by, I don't know, 2030 probably, you know? And if that doesn't work, I guess I'll go back to college for like, I don't know, biochemical engineering or something like that. But uh, <laughs> ideally, if the movie theater business stays going, at least until the next avatar that would be ideal but yeah if not um i don't know biochemical engineering um i don't know find a cure for some shit i don't know that people need you know whatever so if you won two million dollars on a scratch off mm. hb mm. would you say that your dream with that money would be to then go and franchise and open a movie theater Oh, great question. I had never even thought of that possibility until and here's right the thing. now. Here's but the thing. absolutely. We, you do have a friend. Who? Who has a business degree that could help you. That's pretty oh, Mike. smart. Yeah, I forget about that a lot. Um, yeah, a lot, but a lot of people don't know. Mike Casey has a college <laughs> a lot degree. A of people forget the college-educated man. <laughs> crazy to imagine, to isn't it? Um, <laughs> Still got some wheels turning up here sometimes, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Mike Casey surprised you. Anyone that can make my dream work, I just I don't want to be the top dog. I'm number two, always. I just want to serve popcorn, get free movies, and live a nice, humble, modest life. And I want to see movies for free, like, for sure. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, they need to make a new Tron, too. People don't way. realize the importance sometimes of, like, you know, making your uh, your strength sometimes is knowing what your weaknesses are and stuff like that. But, like, anybody who can just go with their whole fucking chest and say, like, this is me. Like, that's HB to the max right there, bro. Like, he says, you know, I'm not a leader. I'm a great number two, bro. Like, Peter Pan needed... It'll be the best number two out there. Like, Peter I'm Pan telling you right now, with his whole fucking heart, bro. Like, Peter Pan needed Tinkerbell for sure. Shit, yeah, yeah Now, bro. let's switch it up for a second. Go I ahead, Because I've got another question All for right. you that I'm very interested to hear your take on. What do you guys think of the downtown Charleston area? When you think of downtown Charleston, what does downtown Charleston mean to you? Um, what what do you think about it, and and where do you see downtown Charleston in ten years? Can I start? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, to be honest with you, bro, um, 
I love the city. I don't want to shit on it completely. Uh, oh, I will if you. I don't, don't think that is going in the right direction. You know what I mean? Uh, now why? Well, for instance, um, you know, I was on King Street. Uh, you know, around when the bars were closing the other night, right? Right. Uh, walking down King they Street. They close at two a.m. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, right. And uh, it was the closest thing to like IRL. And if you guys aren't like up on the lingo. Like I am like that. It means in real life. No, so, he, no, mean, no, Mike Casey. You know well, that? Just real quick for a second. Yeah. You said that like you are a young person. How old are you? Uh, you don't mind us asking. Seven, seven, Viewers want to know. Yeah, I'm to... So, uh, anyways, He's I was, Continue. So yeah, I'm trying to say twenty-eight. All right, fair enough. Fair uh, anyways, so yeah, I was walking down the street, bro, and it was the closest thing to IRL Twitter comments that I've ever seen in my life. Like random men trying to fight women out here like they haven't been raised by a mom at all no respect for women well, wait, you didn't want to protect the women bro it was so much going on and yes i did but it was like the women were also trash as well so it's oh, like you can't protect trash you know what i mean like trash on trash but also i didn't let anybody get hit out there you That's know what true. i mean and I just want to look at not that i'm saying i would have stepped in if they did but I like there's also another group of women that we don't protect and do you know what that is Minorities. Continue. There we go. Continue. I'm gonna let HB take over on that one. I. Uh, what do you think of the downtown, HB? Give us your take. Um, you know, I I've grown up here. I grew up in Hanahan. I've lived in Charleston my whole life. I say a downtown scene is uh, whatever you make it, whatever you want it to be. I. All right, well uh, that's gay. So let's try again. Uh, it can kick you in the ass. I mean, it can like really put you down on your last. It's Ask just kind of pocket pussy. Depends on what kind of person you are. I still think at the end of the day, it's a beautiful city, but for a guy like me, it can uh, it could definitely be uh, troublesome, if you will. It can uh, there's a lot of temptations to do uh, things that aren't great, but I mean, it is what it is. If you're not you know, if you're not man enough to stick it out, then dip. Uh, I still like it. I still go down there and do what I got to do. I like to rage. Now, here's another question about the downtown that you might have to think about for a second. How, how do you guys feel that downtown Charleston has impacted your lives? Um, I'd say I've made, like, lifelong friends down there. And honestly, I don't really have that much, that many bad things to report. I mean... If you keep your shit on lock, then fuck it, man. Rage, party, whatever. I don't know. Like, go to work, wake up, do what you got to do. Uh, if, if I uh, could chime in real quick. Um, so my view on that, if I could just answer real quick. Sorry to cut yeah, you off. Yeah, pop people. off, dog. Uh, first off, I from fucking B-side now, okay? I from fucking B-side. All right. No, we, we, hold on. We've, we've cut. We have cut Mike Casey's. We have cut Mike Casey's microphone. Because that, because, and now I'm going to have to go, now I'm going to have to go on a rant. Because Mike Casey, what Mike Casey is doing is he's, he's trying to interpret these Geechee people. But what we won't have is that because, and I've said this before on the podcast, and he knows it. It's illiterate. That's illiterate. It is a reason for black people to, to, to be able to just talk nonsense. And here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that. If, 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 no, we're, no we're, Mike Casey, we're going to, no, Mike Casey, we're going to do it. But I just, we're not, we don't need to debate because it's, it, because I'm going to end it with this. If you go to, if, if, if you go to Hall's Chop House and a Afro-American walks up to you with dreads and he's, but he's properly dressed, you know, clean cut, whatever. And he goes, you know, what y'all be ordering the night I see. And you're an elite Yelper. What kind of review do you think you're going to leave? I just want you to tell me in the comments what kind of review you're going to leave. Because I can guarantee you one thing, that will never happen. Is my mic back you're on? You're back. Do I get to respond to that or no? You can respond to that if you All want. All right. Fair enough. Uh, you know, I don't know what, uh, like. I'm recording with them. I'll call you back. Yeah, I don't know uh, what what kind of audience we're, like, uh, aiming towards. If the, if the elite. Yelpers is where we're going with it. Then, uh, you know, sorry guys, but uh, I can tell you right now, if you're downtown on America Street, I'm sorry, and you're standing in the road and you don't see a car coming right, and you're about to get hit by a car, and your neighbor next door says, "Boy, get fuck out the road," 
I think that's way more fucking important than you at Halls trying to order a fucking steak that you really don't need because you have enough money just to eat whatever you're not starving, right? But at that time and point, you would like to know what where that comes from, right? You would like to to, to understand, hey, he's trying to warn you to get the fuck out of the road because you're about to die, get hit by a car, right? And honestly, uh, you're saying it, it's illiterate. It's because the it same is. thing. It's just broken English because they didn't have a choice at the time. And I hate that I have to school you on this, Nick Fox, because it kind of just proves that I am blacker than you. But, like, at the same time, like, um, when they came All right. So I don't know if you know this, but, like, the Europeans brought uh, black people over to America, right? Oh, and they became slaves. Can we pause for a second? I, I, I want to respond to you right <laughs> Now, Mike you ain't going to let me cook? Mike, no, no, you can cook after I <laughs> Okay, go ahead. We're going to dissect everything that you just Go ahead, said. baby. So so you said that it's their culture and broken English because they didn't this and that. Well, let's They see. didn't get an education. Hey, they let, hold on. Let, no, let's, let's see something. When did segregation end in the United States? In 1964. So in 1964, segregation ended. So, okay, so, let, so let's, let's do some numbers here. Let's say that the South didn't desegregate for 30 years. So that means that would be 1994, which is way before that. But let's say 1994. So that means that the black people just started going to good schools in 1994, which is not the fucking case. So let's say 1984. So really, in, if, if we just look at that alone, they really have no reason to talk like that. And here's the thing. Are there like eight of them that make the little baskets and look like they're fresh off the boat and they want to preserve the culture that's illiterate and retarded? That's great. That's fine. But what we're not going to do is make an excuse for all these people who went to good public schools to talk illiterate when they do have a choice. Slavery has been over for over 200 years, Mike Casey. All right. They, this, is, this is 2023, not 1823. Listen, I, I completely understand what you're saying, right? If we have uh, the tools to get there and everything that we need, especially with phones and stuff like that, like we have every single library that's ever existed right in our pocket. And so I understand what you're saying. At a certain point, at a certain age, we have to be able to educate ourselves, right? Um, but at the same time, Nick, uh, so... I respect the the English language language in general, right? And I really am. My, my sister, shout out to Caitlin. She's uh, probably the smartest person I've ever met in my life. Uh, speaks a bunch of different languages and stuff like that. Um, always getting on me about my grammar growing up and everything like that. Um, very He's hard on me about that. For what, yeah? So, uh, anyways, so I do respect that, and I do understand. Like, yes, there is a respect for the English language. There's respect for everybody that put in the work before us. Um, to make it like this and that. But if you go down to brass tacks, if you go to a different country, let's say you go to like a tribe in Africa, like of hunters and gatherers, right? Um, who, so there was a certain point in, point in time where, where somebody said that this is a watermelon, okay? And we said like, this is a watermelon. Why is it, if, if HB can tell me and I understand him, when he says to me that this is, it's so much faster and more efficient than watermelon, and I know what he means, why is that so bad to, for me to say that, well, this is what they teaching the, the Europeans and everything like that, where, you know, the whole language originated. So what I'm telling you that this is called, whether it be a watermelon or a ball or anything, um, I put this name towards this object. So that is correct. And this is the way that you're supposed to say it. But if you and your family and you and the people in your community can communicate without having to speak the way that somebody else taught you to and saying that's correct then who is to say who's right or wrong? Right, no, and that's fantastic. But if you just want to live in a little hut and tribe in downtown Charleston and be a part of that, that's great. But don't expect me to accept anything that you're saying when you come out in the public and you start talking with your nonsense. Well, so don't expect uh, not to get hit by a car when you're standing in the middle of the road right, I can't and understand that car is coming like and somebody yelling. says... If I get the uh, fuck out the road, because, then you don't get out the road because you're too ignorant to be like, why don't I be more well, open to these said, people? Like, yeah. it's just a language, just like anything else. Yes, no, I get that. But what you just said, what what, what you might have heard, get out the road. But what I heard was, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, who are you blaming for this though? Because 
black people for not wanting to educate their kids properly? Well, when's the last time that you fucking spent some time in Burke High School? That's Coontown. I would never go there. Exactly. I mean, but where else are you supposed to spend their kids? That's right, where they I go. I just don't expect them to do anything with their life. If I could interject, I'd love to step in here. Yeah, pop in, dog. Uh, pop up. It's nine ten, by the way. I okay, appreciate that. Oh, is it getting I, too real for you up here? I grew up. Oh, no, he's like same. he's looking out for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> I grew up in Charleston. I've been here my whole life, and I mean, I guess certain people have certain accents. We look at it like you can talk however you want, but if you're talking to me and I don't understand what you're saying, it'll just be completely disregarded, and I'll just act like it didn't happen mm -hmm. because it's really not that hard. I talk very slow. And I get made fun of a lot for it, but motherfuckers know what I'm saying. It takes a long time to get out sometimes, but I mean, I don't know. I I don't. There's really no reason that anyone would go through twelve years of schooling and not know how to fucking talk to each other. Uh, they have been talking to each other though. Yeah, but like, it's English. I mean, we should all like talk to each other. Or whatever. I mean, I don't care if you got like dialogue or whatever. It's just like I'm not gonna. Get it's it. just like it's kind of almost like the same thing as like when they bring up anything. Like just the fastest thing off the top of my head is like when they came up with contractions, right? Instead of saying cannot, you say can't. Now we use can't in our everyday language, right? right. At a certain point, people were like, "That's ignorant. You're taking away from the English language." It's almost like right, the the you, you same thing as saying like, saying. "lol" now, like you know what I mean. Like Nobody if somebody says that in 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 like my in a conversation, is saying old, "lol." Should not be saying "lol." I'm not saying I do. I don't. But I'm saying okay, like, all right, just want to make sure. But I'm saying like, I "lol" sometimes. But like, uh, so at a certain point, somebody was like, against the whole contraction thing, making it shorter. It should be "cannot" instead of "can't." You're right, destroying you the English were, language and how it's supposed to be. That's that's different because. You're how? How? About, Tell me how, bud. Okay, because you're talking about like words, whereas we're talking about people we can't even understand who are just like saying shit that s sounds like a literal monkey. I would. Uh, you ever seen Zabumavan? Jo Jovian speaks better than these niggas downtown. He's hopping around talking about a damn hippopotamus. Shout out to Byron, though. Uh, yeah, what's up it. with Byron? I saw that nigga. Yeah, he's still out over. here giving the fucking best fucking he cracked cracked the hell out of my back, back there, cracks yeah, yeah. out now, there, Now, does he bro. really buy crack with the back crack? Oh, the man, back? dude. That guy is, he's a fucking wizard. Dude, honestly. I'm telling you right now, bro. Um, he's not, I have he doesn't a poster of him at, well. at my house on my wall, and it says, it's like a Nike. Like, I think he's sponsored by Nike at this point. Uh, so, it says, like, you know, whatever you do, uh, you know, just make it meaningful and be willing to break your back. That's kind of hard for Byron being a, now, a street chiropractor. Now, where does Byron live? Oh, what, what, what section of Marion Square does he reside? I uh, I actually <laughs> never have got invited back to his pad. He, he, now, he is cracks my back outside of like ACs or something. But uh, I really think he just kind of spawns in, kind of like GTA. Like I don't really know if there's. I think like, he's a got hose. Like, I think you just kind of like your back hurts and he just kind of fucking shows up. Mm -hmm. Like, but every time I light a fucking cigarette outside of ACs, that motherfucker's there to crack my back. And every time I tell him, yo, don't crack my neck, he promptly cracks it. Like, literally grabs me by the fucking head and cracks it. What's the service charge, Norman? Uh, generally, whatever you got. I mean, like a fucking. Sometimes it's a stogie. One so, time, yeah. I gave sometimes him like it's like if you're the first one, one of the like night, 20. he just like he's like, yeah. don't worry about throwing me anything because other people will he see. That. He's it's like, inferred. he's like, you're a marketing technique for yeah. him. You know, what it, I mean? it's like, bro, inferred, he's got yeah. the shit down pat, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, I will generally like throw a little some, you know. But like I've told him before, like, yeah, I don't really have any money. He's like, I still want to do it. I was like, I know you're just saying that, but like, let me ask you this: Is it blessing? In disguise, or is it blessing in disguise? Blessing in disguise, like it's in disguise, like a private eye wearing like a disguise. Blessing in disguise, like you can't see the blessing. How high are you? Wouldn't it make more you? sense for it to be like a blessing in disguise, like God gave I us the blessing? Uh, yeah. Like, why is it just a secret spy out here in disguise blessing us? Wouldn't it make more sense from the blessing coming from the skies, which is our Lord it could Almighty? Be a, if you're what, you don't it like could the Lord anymore? Disguise, sure. Yeah. You don't like the Lord anymore? I, I, I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What church do you go to, HP? Um, What's the name of it? 
We're zooming in on you. We're waiting for an answer. <laughs> like, I don't really want to. I go to this church in Hanahan. Oh, you do go to church. Okay, that's all we want to do. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I go to uh, uh, church. I'm a Baptist, though. I can divulge that. I go to church, like, at least once a week when HP kind of red pills me just all night long I'll go to sleep and stuff like that and I'm I telling you right enough, now bro like this motherfucker it. has spit some truth to me about the bible like this motherfucker getting literally like 9:15 yeah he uh are we getting like called out we're in the we? red zone no he's just looking out for me cuz I got to go um but yeah he, he might we're not good, look bro. like much and like you know he'll come off as a little autistic and stuff bro but like when it comes to history and the bible bro this guy right here I'm telling you right now, he'll he'll red pill the fuck out you real quick. Ask him a question about the Bible. No, well, I got a question for you. What's up, man? All right, pivot. Joe Biden, Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump. <laughs> Hell, who are you voting for for president? <laughs> Hell, um, pivot, Donald right Trump, here. emphatically. Um, DeSantis, I like. I don't think he's there yet. If uh, if Trump's able and willing. Um, I don't see a world where I don't vote for him. Um, I would rather chop every fucking finger of my hand off before I vote for Joe Biden. I can tell you that. That's just not happening. But yeah, Trump, I, I can stand behind that. But if DeSantis wanted to be cool, um, if Tucker Carlson ran, that would be ideal. He would be like my ideal pick. But yeah, I mean, uh, Nick Fox, honestly, I would vote for you in a heartbeat. 81 um, before Joe and Biden. I want to share something with y'all because we've been talking to y'all for a minute. Do you know what my dream is? I would, would love, love to, know. to know, bro. Besides to have a six foot tall, uh, blonde haired white woman as a wife, obviously. Um, I could probably work on that for you. No, no, no. I've already I got a couple lined up. <laughs> Don't worry about hey, cool. What? Some snow buddies? Um, <laughs> what are you trying to say? You trying to call? Me, you basically just call me a nigger by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally that's literally what you did. You that's literally what you just did there. So uh, I'm really offended now. Yeah, we well, took a hop, skipping a jump to that conclusion dude, right there. Yeah, yeah, you deserve a six foot white woman, clothes. dude. I no. really do. And here's the thing, ladies, and I want you to know this, ladies. Listen, <laughs> He's looking you, straight. You, listen, listen. You come here. You come here. You don't talk too much. You you do the dishes. You wash the clothes, you cook, I'll take care of it. And take care we'll of the even, cats. We'll Tell them to you, feed the cats. We'll get you a G-Wagon. And what? You're, like, you're thinking, what? No payments? I'll pay for it. And you know what? We'll get you a G-63. We'll take it, care of you? it. Yeah. It'll be nice. I'll do All you got to do is smile and look pretty. But if you think you're going to get fat, that's not going to work. There will be consequences. <laughs> Nick Fox, talk about the cats. Tell them they have to take care of the cats to you. The cat, I have feral cats, but don't don't worry about those. We'll get rid of those. Dude, no, Yo, can cool. HB throw no, his name? No, don't hey, get. Can uh, HB throw his name in the hat for the whole uh, the whole thing that you just told the woman to sign up for? He'll I'm not, cook, six, I'm not right? six foot. I'm white, but I'm not a, a woman or six foot. Dude, I'm only five foot, eleven and a half. I, I'm six foot on tenure, but I'm really five eleven like, and a half. I, you know, and I'll be honest with you guys. I like white women who are six feet tall plus because like, I don't have to look You're down preaching to the choir, man. I fucking... I don't have... Like, yeah, you know, you have to... Most women, you have to look down to them. I don't... Like, it, it just gives... Like, they just inherently get respect. Do you mean, like, physically or, like, like uh, uh, metaphorically? I games sometimes. Or metaphorically. Because, I mean, we can't... We can't, like, seriously take women seriously. I mean, they're pretty funny. But, like, it's just... I like women. No, I do, too. <laughs> Since when? Because here's, here's the thing. Here's Today. the thing, ladies. We got a lot of assets here. We can do a lot for you. We can make your life easy. All you do is smile. Yeah, I don't have a lot to offer. Hey, can we sure. uh, talking about this? Can we go into another subject real quick? Um, what do you think about what do you think about um, this new stuff coming out, like the AI stuff? Like, uh, you know, I got a friend. I got a friend that's got a pocket pussy, and he loves it, bro. Like, she doesn't talk back. You know, uh, he likes candles and stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? And. Like, honestly, it sounds like a fucking win-win for him, and I'm very happy for him about that. Uh, but what happens when these AIs come out, like the robots actually start talking to you and stuff like that? Like, if you I think could, that... If that I could segue in... Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't know if you guys have that new Snapchat update where, like, the AI talks yep. to you. Yep. I've been talking to that motherfucker for, like, a week straight like, riveting conversations. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, I don't know if she's, like, a girl... But it feels like we're like really stepping into that next like fucking Have you asked upper her how she line. identifies? I I'm sorry. Have, have you asked her how it identifies? No, not really. I uh, 
it's tricky. It's 2023. Yeah. You don't want to get too forward. But I Not don't, don't want to step least, out, like, get too ahead of myself. But this is going well. And, I mean, who's to say if this AI is already right here having a great conversation in five years? I mean, who's to say where we are? I could have a girlfriend that I fucking turn on like a Game Boy Advance, you know? And, you know, uh, uh, you guys, I will, I will share this upon you. Um, you know, most people, uh, they work their whole life and they end up with very little. For the um, white man. Amen, brother. And, and most people, really, Is this the, the time that they end up with something, uh, like a, a decent amount of, of stuff, is uh, when their parents and or relatives die. Generational wealth. I have been fortunate enough to acquire a very nice estate. That very is, nice. That is the culmination of my great-great-grandfather, my great-grandfather, and my grandfather. And as great as this AI and all this is, I feel I have a duty bestowed upon me that most men my age don't have or really understand because I have a legacy here. And instead of pissing this away oh. and um, just kind of running things down, you know, we're trying to build upon the legacy. We, I want to build a new house that's bigger. We want to get a nicer pool. You know, we want to fix things up. And uh, as great as AI would be, and I would love to do that, uh, I need a real woman um, to bear me Nick Fox Jr. So I could get I that. Can have, because you can have the biggest kingdom and the biggest castle in the world. But if you don't have anyone to hand it down to, what's it all worth? And the answer is... This man's looking I for agree, a queen, she's, ladies. She's got to be blonde and she's got to be six foot so you guys can have D1 babies. I mean, uh, he he only likes that, white Nick. girls, too, by well, the way. I, I have enough money. And by the way, guys, things. Nick's estate is very large and it's very real. I'm here. You would not believe how far and how fast dope, this bro. empire it goes back. It is dope. And again, there's like eight feral cats around the property if you like cats i know i do there's a couple kittens there's a lot he's to got offer trees here. he's got trees everywhere there's trees there's i don't want uh, to turn this podcast into the get naked girlfriend yeah, show talk, bro. but, but if it is, i wouldn't mind let's go HB into getting it. a like, girlfriend go, too just, if we're all uh, throwing something out. i just found out what an acre was and he's got a lot so of many of them so yeah, many a acres lot of that. i yeah, saw like, what an acre was take today. one and times it by like a lot there's so many of them uh, we're eating steak that we just got from the neighbor's yard. Like There's a, cow. a swamp. There's a beaver back there. Yeah, beavers are all over, man. It's cool They're out They're actually here, not as nice as advertised. They're actually uh, a little bit of a nuisance, apparently. I was nervous going into today. I'm not going to lie, bro, with all the creatures and stuff around. I didn't know what to expect, bro, but it's been a fucking blast. Yeah, and I, honestly, blessed. I genuinely thank you for it having us, man. It's been great, bro. You guys are welcome anytime. We, we really we had fun today. I, I appreciate it. It was man. a blast, dude. We'll do it. We'll throw a party this summer. We'll get the gang out here. We'll get the, the food and bed DJs out here. Um, yeah, if we could have my birthday party here. What's your birthday? Uh, coming up September 29th. No, there's only uh, there's only one stipulation. I like that word. Mm -hmm. Great word. Do you have any idea what my stipulation is going to be? I'm not really that sure what stipulation means. Uh, wait, 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 my Casey, do you, do you know that my I just like the way it sounded. Um, do you have a guess? I think you know. I feel like you have said it today already, but HP can't play with the cats? No minorities. <laughs> no minorities and we can have the party. But the cats can stay, right? Yeah, the cats can stay. Uh, can we have a wiffle ball court? Yes. Yeah. All right. Bounce house? You want to pay the rent of bounce house? We'll yeah. put one in the yard for you. Sure. Can I live in it? Fifty dollars a week. You can live in whatever you want to. I can live in a bounce house for fifty dollars a week on this property. Yes. And I get full access to the grounds. I can play with the beavers, the cats, whoever I want. Yes, we will. We'll have to take you on a driving course for the ATV, but. Okay, yeah. I didn't. I didn't even bring. The, I didn't even think I was gonna get ATV. Yeah, you know, I would make him. Awesome. I would make him pay first and last month's rent up front and a security deposit because he's not gonna make it more than like a week and a half out here, bro. I could definitely make it, dude. He said water moccasins. What about them? They're here. I know. I know what they. Do you not know what they are? Well, I'll tell you, HB, and this will tell us if you're ready. Okay. There's a snake. It's red, yellow, and black. What two colors have to touch for it to be safe? Um, now, now, keep in mind, hold on. Keep in mind that if you get this question wrong, 
the difference is between being completely fine and having your nervous system shut down from a neurotoxic event. Don't go interracial. I think it's, um, I think it's white on white. You're cool. The best answer... And, and, and hold on. I'm going to tell you again. The, your color options are red, yellow, and black. What two colors have to touch for it to be safe? I hate to dance around, but I do love the tango. I would say the best answer to this question would be just avoid um, snakes at all the, costs. The snake has bitten you. You have to. You have to <laughs> so the snake's that. already bitten me. The snake's bitten you. Okay, well, I've already called 911, but if. Uh, right, but you might not need to. Red and yellow connect, you're good. Avoid the colors. I want to tell oh, you, HB, congratulations. You're dead as fuck. Oh, fuck. Red to yellow, you're a dead fellow. Red to black, you're okay, Jack. Three leaves, stay away from me. Again, that's why we need more cats here so there's no snakes. And that's what the I... snake's already bitten you, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> but at my funeral, someone should be like, oh, Nick Fox probably should have a couple more cats around so HB didn't get bitten by the snake. And I would have had on boots. I would go to the boot store while we're talking boots. about funerals, I have one wish, guys. Uh, I really want to flash cool. mob at my funeral. Like that. Little boys to men. How do I say goodbye? You know how it goes. Not familiar. I want the voice actor that plays Donnie from the Thornberries to do that noise he makes at my funeral. Yeah, you know, that the whole thing there. Dude, don't touch my wine, bro. You cut off. You cut off. There's only like a sip left. You got me out here sipping uh, fake ass sweets. All right, it's nine thirty. You want to call it? It is definitely. Yeah, right. uh, let's go. Out. You got anything? Any last words? You need to do like a little uh, clip for the sponsors. Is this I you right like here? I'm getting lower. Oh, yeah. Right here. Uh, I don't want to sit in the broken chair anymore. I keep sinking. All right, we'll have to edit that. Dynalites. HAC Dynalites. Give a big shout out to HAC Dynalites. Yo, HAC, HAC Dynamites, man. Uh, Dynalites. Get your fill up here. What do you guys think? You guys smoked them. I want your honest opinion. If you didn't fuck with them or you fucked with them, let us know. What did you Yo, think? real talk, I think these HHC Dynalites are the bomb. Wait. Ah, uh, yeah. you see what I did there? These are legal and they're cool. Yeah, I love smoking this stuff. Right. You guys smoke, we smoked five of them in the, the five. I joint smoked, uh, I'm going to smoke probably two more on the way home. Not while I'm driving. Mike's driving. Well, no, you can smoke them while you're driving. They're, they're legal. Yeah, I was, okay, I'll smoke two more on the way home for sure. I didn't know, but they are delicious. I did try one earlier. It's it's really good. I feel relaxed. I We did a take before I smoked one and it was bad and now I feel way more relaxed. It went a lot better. My measles were acting up. I smoked one of these, bro. They're all done. Like they cleared up your measles. <laughs> all right, well, folks, uh, we're we are not legally breaking down medical any barriers. Of that. We're probably gonna edit it out. Thanks, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Bubba. Okay. Oh, I love that outro. Yeah.